why would they limit business interest? Uh, they limited business interest because of some of the global companies who were able to sort of pay interest to themselves. So le Apple built the $5 billion headquarters in Cupertino, and they could borrow the money from the Bank of America, or they could borrow it from the Bank of Apple located in Ireland. And if they borrowed from the Bank of Ireland, Bank of Apple in Ireland, that money sitting over there, they pay interest from their U.S. entity, deduct it, and the interest income went someplace else. So it, this, while I know that's a little bit of what they were thinking about, what Congress was thinking about, it extends out further into a limitation of business interest that makes it look a lot like investment interest expense. You know, you can deduct investment interest expense to the extent of your investment interest, your investment income. This is a little variation on that. It's only a 30 second explanation because I'll show, the, because it's a $25 million company. All right. But it simply says you can deduct the inter business interest expense to the extent of your interest income plus 30% of your taxable income. And that was to stop some of this shifting back and forth. I think was the real purpose of it, but I don't want you worry about it. It has lots of definitions in it. It's adjusted taxable income. It's EBITDA. They even get into some accounting terms here. It doesn't apply to auto dealers because they have floor plan financing. Um, this is just to show you how they do it. It's effective in uh, 2022, here's the important one. Doesn't apply unless you have 25 million of gross receipts. So you've been reading that there is a limit to the amount you can deduct for business interest expense. That is true, but that is not uh, applicable to most of our clients. So that's enough.